What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is going to be called The End by Solomonati. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. Smooth skin, soul in the building, baby drill in the building, man. Simple. Simple. Am I going to post this this time, bro? Like, am I going to post this? They know where because, bro. Shit, we connected, my nigga. Little do you know, you my little bro. Big bro, whoever the fuck you is. Gotta be a real nigga, though. No femboys. <laughs> Yo, so listen. Something has come to my attention today. Today is the first of the month of August. And what, sh what actually triggered this video was a, 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 a 2K... Um, a, a, some fucking 2K gameplay that they had posted and it pissed me the fuck off and it put me in the mood to just want to complain so here I am a lot of y'all gotta understand sometimes God take me away so I can really find myself away from the ethernet stuff because it's not me nothing on here is really me in real life it's just images that I created on this bitch going crazy with y'all but in reality when you take everything away from that particular person who got all the clout all the followers and was getting all the attention and all the money that person behind all that that's who you really want to get a chance to know because nine times out of ten everybody y'all see right now online is just protecting their image there's a lot of bullshit going online one of the things i'm starting to notice my nigga the weirdo hollywood pedophilia all the weirdo shit that was going on in hollywood is starting to transfer over to streamers and youtubers it's kind of even fucked up to even say you a motherfucking YouTuber in 2020. Who's he talking about? Who's he talking about? Obviously, he's talking about someone. Who, who's he talking about? Oh, or a streamer. Because nonstop, all y'all been doing is getting exposed for being weirdos. Like, it's fucked up. That's tough. Every time I turn around, it's another nigga getting exposed for being a weirdo. Now listen, I'm going to be honest with you right now. It is a very, very, very tough time. And by the way, I've been gone since October 2023. None of this weirdo shit has nothing to do with me. My energy, everything about me was not on YouTube. All y'all other motherfucking new age niggas can absorb y'all self in this. This has nothing to do with me. But let me tell y'all this, straight up. I remember I was dropping videos on my spiritual channel. See, a lot of y'all niggas is getting older. And shit is starting to click. I ain't gonna even say you becoming conscious because you still a bot. But shit's starting to click. So a lot of niggas you used to watch is be so so everyone everyone is a bot is a bot by but Solomonati. So he thinks everyone is a bot by him. Alright. Becoming weird to you now. A lot of niggas you donated to, a lot of motherfuckers you was just turning up with. You starting to really question them now. You starting to see through them now. When I dropped the video about, I'm about to use this for a, a quick example real quick. Dewey so in the building, man. I don't know why I got my shit like this, but I actually, it looks swaggy. I ain't gonna lie. Don't steal my shit. So listen. Yes, bitch. I made it up. Mines. You did it. So listen, I already hear niggas talking. Like, man, nigga, I can hear your ass, bitch. So listen. You did it. On my spiritual channel, I dropped a video about Lil Nas X in the past. And this is when he was twerking on the devil and doing all his little weirdo stuff, right? And I was trying to paint the picture and tell y'all he's planted perfectly to destroy kids. If you go to a Lil Nas X concert, you ain't going to see nothing but film boys and trainees with thongs. Working and doing all type of weird. If if you're a straight male and you go to a Lil Nas X concert, I think that disqualifies you from being straight. Just being honest. If you go to a Lil Nas X concert and you claim to be straight, that alone disqualifies you from being straight. What is there? A Lil Nas X concert that you want to watch. 
Make it make sense. Nothing. Nothing for a straight man or a woman. At Lil Nas X concert to watch or turn up to. Nothing. Weirdo shit, right? But when you go online, he was at that time was doing Roblox concert with kids. Fortnite concerts and shit. But no, no children fuck with him. Now y'all got to understand what a plant is when they put in position to automatically succeed. He's definitely a plant. Definitely. The streams fake. Everything is fake. But you looking at them like a god. In reality, the nigga was planted literally to change the mind. How many of y'all motherfuckers back in 2018, 2017, you was probably 12, 13, 14, probably 15. You grown as fuck now and you don't want to have nothing to do with Lil Nas X. But back in the day, you was, you fuck with him. It's been that long? I don't think it's been that long. Lil Nas came out like three years ago. I don't think it's been since 2015, bro. <laughs> but what I'm trying to tell you is this. These weirdos are being planted and it's starting to happen in the YouTube and streaming community as well. It's been happening. I remember I've been told y'all, I just ain't saying no names. And this video is not to target anybody. It's just the weirdo energy has started to come over here now. So now y'all got to get gods back like the Kaiser, Kaiser, who's not afraid to really give you a real fucking opinion. Because most niggas is trying to protect their image, especially if you in these groups and all type of shit. Y'all got so much to lose because y'all know when groups crumble, everything just go bad. Uh oh, he's starting to throw subliminals. He's starting to, to throw to throw subliminals. Who's he talking about? Y'all ain't even did shit. It's just y'all man's in them. Let me turn my. Mm, he's talking about Chris, Kai's cameraman. And to be honest, Chris didn't do anything wrong because if he was doing that in New York, the age of consent is fucking seventeen. She was 17, he was what, 22, 23? The age of consent is 17. I literally read the law and it says a, a, a person that is 17 years old can consent to having sexual relations to older people. So, and even and if he was doing that in Georgia, it's even worse because Georgia's uh, age of consent is 16. So, I don't understand. I'm not understanding where this PDF file thing is coming from. So, if he's within his rights to do that. Mic down, bro. Man, it took me five minutes to notice I needed to turn this shit down. But look, that shit's still loud. I ain't been on here, so I ain't gonna touch nothing. Damn, is you back? I just started recording, my baby. All right, so listen. It's my girl. She just got back. But look, a lot of y'all got to understand this. Right now on YouTube, I say this year alone, I don't know how many people has got canceled for the pedophilia shit. I know Dr. Disrespect, and then you got the Chris situation, my nigga over there was with Mr. Beast. You should have been got rid of that fucking weirdo. Like, facts, facts, facts. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Chris, Ava, whatever the fuck his name is. Get rid of him. Why is he still on YouTube? Why is he still on YouTube? Uh, an epitome, an epitome of a, a fucking weirdo. He is a weirdo. He is a weirdo. Kick him off YouTube. Bro, y'all got to start drawing the line for people that don't want to be human, bro. Like, it is what it fucking is. Just like when I dropped the video about Cooley Ray or Coy Leroy, whatever the, the, Coy whatever Leroy, the my Coy nigga Leroy. name is. That's my bro. I told y'all, the little, the little girl, the little nigga had uh, anatomy. Her whole body looked like mine. And I study anatomy. I study human anatomy so I could tell what is what. And at the time, I was deeply on semen retention. So I had a lot of energy on my no fab shit. I wasn't really on no lustful shit. So when I'm coming across beautiful ass girls, I see a beautiful ass girls. And when I'm 
if if you look at Koi Leroy or Leroy, whatever her name is, Benzino's daughter. If you look at her and and you think, oh damn, she's sexy, and you're a man, you just become gay. You're gay. She literally looks like a 12 year old boy. I'm coming across a nigga. I see a nigga. And I Facts. told y'all straight up in that video, bro, this bitch could be a boy. I told y'all she was an intersex. Speaking of intersex, she's intersex? Is she? I don't think she's intersex. Look up what just happened in the Olympics. Old girl got hit one time and quit because the trainee punched too hard. Yeah, see, this is where, this is where, like, doing your research comes in handy. The, the, her name is Iman Khalif, Khalif, or whatever the fuck her name is. The, the, the boxer in the Olympics, Algerian girl. She's not a transgender. She was born intersex or hermaphrodite. And she just didn't choose to be a female. But there, there are videos of the girl talking. Because I speak her language. She was talking and she referred to her as a male. She referred to herself as a male. So, I don't know. I don't know. What the fuck is trainees doing boxing against women? But, but, he, she did not say, oh, I was a woman before, now I became a male. Or I was a male, then I became a woman. She didn't say that. Because that shit is not allowed in Algeria. <laughs> they are not allowing that. So, yeah. And also, I think the Algerian Federation, Boxing Federation, came out and said that she is a boy. So, I could be wrong. I'm telling you right now, fem boys, trainees, all y'all niggas catching these hands if you ever come near me. You can be the prettiest trainee of all time. I'm beating you up if you ever put your hands on me. You catching these hands. He's... You can't. You can tell. You can tell. Solomonari never been in a fight. What the fuck was that? Let's see. Let's see the head movement. Beating you up. If you ever put your hands on me, you catching these hands. He's. You can't. Oh my God! He jumped around like a grasshopper. Catching them. One HP, I'm going to leave you on one HP to give you a choice to go back to your normal state. I ain't going to completely get rid of you. I'm going to leave you on one HP so you can think, oh. So you can remember who the fuck you are. You a man. But listen, back to, like I was saying with Cooley Ray, I told y'all, bro, a lot of people coming around, I told y'all, by the time 2030 get here, life going to be so fucking different. Because now y'all got these new species, these new I call them test tubes, but it's really a lot of deeper shit going on spiritually. But I, this is not my spiritual channel, so I ain't going to talk about that. But you have these new type of beings that's here who don't want to be human. So they would call themselves, they, the... They're all possessed. All of them are possessed. It's mental illness. They're all possessed. It. Um. Bitch. They, them, all they, shit. They just don't want to be he or her. Fuck. They want to be everything but that. This consciousness didn't exist until like 2015, 2016. Y'all know this? It's new. It didn't exist. Like, okay, drag queens and trainees probably been a, been a thing. It just wasn't pushed to the straight community. It was its own thing. But now, bro, it's like you got niggas in groups with them boys. Bro, these motherfuckers. Bro, I, like, bro, I ain't trying to get thrown off topic. I'll talk about that in a minute. But my nigga. These motherfuckers don't want to be humans. They trying to change the way a kid think. And what's the first what's the first thing these motherfuckers do? They send them to talk to kids at school. That's the first thing they do is sending trainees and drag queens to talk to kids at school. A kid can't make a all they want is V-Bucks and Roblox to put they, they don't bro, they the kids. Like the kids. I can't even remember making a real decision about anything when I was a kid. He's not lying. But you talking about you gonna come to a little kid and say, huh, you can cut off your motherfucker. Bro, that's a future school shooter, right? You just destroyed that motherfucker life. And that's why the suicidal rates amongst the transgenders is so high. Because imagine, you're a male, 
you cut your shit off, and then later on you realize you did something wrong. And now you want to go back to your natural, normal state. And now you don't have something, you don't have, you have nothing to work with. Like your, your life is gone. Like, like your penis is gone. Your cock is gone. Might as well just, you know, unalive yourself. I'm not saying that they should, but that's what they do. That's the, that's the, the decision that they're coming to. And they're actually doing it. They're not just thinking it. They're actually doing it. Oh shit. I don't have a fucking dick no more. Shit. Might as well just go and, you know, do what I got to do to exit this, this, this life. But they don't want to talk about that. That's a permanent decision you're making. There's, you're not, you're not in GTA. You're not getting an extra life. If you cut that shit off. That shit is gone forever. And I'll guarantee you, you cannot get that shit back. Your daughter? I want a dad. I want a penis. Bro, that's a... What? Oh. Oh. There's this fighter. Alistair Overeem. He's a K1 champion. And he was in the UFC. He just... He was on a, a podcast. So I think with Rampage or someone. And he said his daughter just came to him and said she wants to have a penis. She wants to be a man. She feels like a man. I swear to God, you can look this up. And this is why I told y'all, some of these motherfuckers be test tubes placed by planet parents to raise them as trainees. They don't even be their real kids. But we ain't gonna go there. Okay? We ain't gonna go there. But listen, what I'm trying to tell y'all is this. This energy is spreading throughout your favorite streamers and YouTubers now. They gonna tell you, oh, it's okay. It's all right. That's my bro. That's my best friend. I still support him. And this and that and that and this. None of this shit is. Mm-hmm. He's talking about Chris. He's talking about Kai Sinat with the sketch shit. He's talking about all these people. It's normal. It's all demonic. It's all weird. It is. And it's all simply to keep targeting kids. Nothing has to do with your grown ass. To be honest, they don't give a fuck about us. If you ain't conscious, they definitely don't care about you. Nigga, you can kill a hundred people. One conscious nigga is more powerful than you because that one conscious nigga can wake up a million people that's thinking just like me. On the same tip. Okay. But listen. So let's go to this YouTube shit now. You got streamers and YouTubers arguing about should a girl should be able to have a kid at the, or get married. And the other nigga talking about kids should be able to cut their body parts and do this. Like, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all niggas. And y'all think one both sides is actually going against each other when both is fucking weirdo energy, bro. See, see, he's talking, he's talking about most critical and he's talking about Sneeko. The only, the debate happens because most critical is thinking he's saying freedom, freedom. You gotta, you gotta, oh, okay. Like now you gotta give the kids freedom to choose if they want to cut their dicks off or not, or go under growth hormone therapy and all that shit. Right. Right. Since you can do that, right. Sneeko countered that argument. He said, oh, so you're telling me. A, 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 a underage person can decide to do that, but you're telling me the underage person cannot decide to get married. It's because there's a hypocrisy in there. There's a hypocrisy in there. And honestly, if you, because in the US, in the US, underage girls are getting pregnant left and right, day and night, every day. So you're telling me you would rather have your your daughter get clapped by random people instead of getting married. And when we say married, because in California, there is no age of, uh, uh, the parents can give you the consent to marry their daughter, no matter how old she is. I think she, she can be under age. She can, she can be under 18. As long as there's a, a parental consent. I would rather have my daughter get married then just go out there and just sleep around. Because when she gets married, I'm going to have to pick the person. Like, she's going to bring, okay, hey, dad, I want to get married. I want to blow, blah, because married people have sex. I'm going to be like, okay, is this guy good or not? I can, I can decide for her. I can be like, yo, because men can read other men. 
So instead of her just being out there getting clapped on, getting clapped, and getting left, get married. I don't understand the problem with that. Why are we even focused on little ass children? It's like now, people who did have kid-friendly content, y'all seem weird now because of them. People who used to just chill and probably play regular games that kids gravitate to, now, it's like, you gotta watch how, you gotta watch what you say, you gotta watch what you do, because people now are starting to look at us YouTubers and streamers different. That fucking fake gay or humor that Biden Ross used to do, that's, you can't do that no more in 2020 fucking four. Biden Ross. Because too much shit is going on. Don't y'all see this? By the way, bro, listen, just like trainees, if you're a transgender, bro, if I'm a god, I know y'all going through a lot, and I'm going to be honest with you, on my spiritual channel, I have helped a lot of people get through, like, suicidal shit, and I ain't even trying to be, act like I'm just this special person. I, I knew, I've been in a position to where I actually help people from not dying, and a few of them was getting backlash and just going through shit because they was trainees now they go through spiritual shit too some of them regret it i even told y'all it's groups that goes against the communities because the communities has nothing to do with them it's just to go to the kids most people make these decisions when they older and they regret it so imagine what's gonna happen to the kids that they let them do this shit and then they get older you know what i'm saying that ain't gonna get pushed they gonna just talk about, oh, it's okay. But they ain't gonna never show the backlash, the, the deaths, all the surgeries, the, the bro, trainees is leading in suicide, all type of shit. It's like crazy, right? But listen, I can give all y'all y'all own planet, give all y'all superpowers and natural resources, y'all own fuck planet. On. In a hundred years, the whole planet would be wiped clean. All y'all would be dead because y'all can't create nothing. Y'all can't create life. Y'all just take and it's not all y'all, but if you're a part of that community, that's y'all. Same with little, whoever my man's talking about with little kids, 12 year old, 13 year olds, should be able to get married and have children and all this, bro. A, a little kid. That was not his point. He's saying, if you have a problem, if you can say you can do this, then you can also say you can do this. So this is when people watch just to watch to, to, to respond. They're not watching to learn. He's most critical is bringing the point that you can a kick and decide that he can cut his dick off and do this and this and this and this and this and that. Like a life altering decision. Sneeko's counter point was like, okay, so since you're saying that, so you shouldn't have no problem with a kid getting married. But obviously most critical said no, but that's different. Blah, 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 blah. And he's trying to point out the double standards. Have a, that she don't have, she's not developed to give nutrients, vitamins to breastfeed a child. The child would die. She don't have, bro, she haven't even developed yet, bro. And these are man-made niggas be starting to talk about history, bro. This, this is why I'm spiritual now. I had to. Oh, you sound like one of those bitches. Oh, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. I, I fucking look at the moon and the stars and how they align and I read my fucking uh, zodiac signs and and all these fucking numerology shit. That's that's how that's what that's that's how Solomonarity sounds like. Talking about history, you know, back then people had to get married at early age because the life expectancy was like fucking thirty five. So they had to get married at a younger age. Plus, back then, younger girls and younger men hit puberty at a much earlier age, and they were fit to get married already, like at 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 men were able to fucking what you call it, lead armies women at that time as you what we would call them fucking little girls right now they don't have that many that that many responsibilities back then they do they did that back then back then they had to raise a whole family by themselves it's because their life expectancy was 35 40 max so if you're waiting for uh, a <laughs> It just doesn't make sense. You're using presentism to judge the back, the, the, the back in history time. That's what there's, that's what you, that's what you're saying. I'm using today's rules for a fucking thousand years ago's rules. What? Remember who the fuck I was and do my own research. Y'all man made shit. Y'all not like us. 
It don't have nothing to do with me. My ancestors wasn't looking for no little motherfucking kids. They was protected, and we was looking for them juicy ass women who we know we can breed with. In the false, false, false. If 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 someone I knows anything about his ancestors, I'm gonna assume his ancestors came from fucking Africa. Africa back then, till this day, they still do that. They still marry. The life of fucking the age of consent is fucking like 12, 13, 14. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about, Saluminati? Talking about my ancestors? The fuck are you talking about, Saluminati? You think your ancestors started like fucking 50 years ago? They started a fucking thousand, thousand years ago. If you go back to your ancestors, all of them used to get married at a younger age. What are you talking about? <laughs> See this, this This is what's wrong With these spiritual Quote unquote People bro oh, I'm spiritual What fucking What What research have you done To where you found out That most <laughs> Most of your ancestors Was getting married At like a fucking 18, 19, 12, 20 Come on Let's be real Women was looking For them motherfucking warriors Who they know Can go out there And make shit happen the fuck Nowadays you Bitches is just looking For niggas who at home chilling, jacking off, got a lot of clout. That's it. They just want a clout, nigga. You Bro, the age of consent in fucking 1880 was 10 years old, 7 years old in Delaware. What, what, what are we talking about? People back then aged differently. They had different responsibilities. Not now. Most women now at fucking 18, 19, they're still not mature. They still have a mind of a kid. They're still on TikTok. That's all they're worried about. You ain't even, to be honest, now. Underage girls back then are more mature than overage girls right now. And that's a fact. You cannot, you cannot prove me wrong. That's a fact. And I know I'm getting a little bit of off topic. You ain't even got to really, like, bro. This is what I'm saying. Like, it's so easy now, bro. Every, damn, they're all the baddest bitches I know got a price now. You ain't even got to try now. Every bitch got meetups in their bios. It is some good ones out there, my guy, but it's tough out here nowadays. Every bitch a hoe. All she want is a little bit of attention. That's it. You ain't even got to love her for real. Just make her take a few pics with her and just show you, show people. She feel important now. But listen. Back to what I was saying before I end this video, man, a little ass girls, little kids, they not even developed spiritually enough to even take care of their child. Nowadays, yes, they're not developed spiritually. Even, like I said, even a fucking overage girl is not developed spiritually. And that's a fact. The child will die without a parent or without formula or different shit. When a woman have a kid, she naturally need the nutrients or she probably unhealthy or something so she don't have the nutrients. But normally women supposed to have what they need to breastfeed, to feed their children, etc. Uh, younger kids don't have that naturally. Younger kids... Nowadays, they don't. Women, when women hit puberty, the, the body shows that they're ready to, to consummate. They're ready to, to, to get pregnant. They're ready to do all that stuff. Some of them don't. But if you look at the... Vast majority of, of girls back then, most of them hit puberty at a younger age. And that was the sign of, of their society and their culture that, okay, she's ready for marriage. Who the fuck are you to be like, no? <laughs> like, for just in the US, in the US, people are not aligned with each other on what the fucking age of consent is. Most of the U.S. Fucking train. The majority of the U.S. Thinks it's 16. The fucking minority of the U.S. Thinks it's 18 and 17. So what, like, what's the right, what's the right one? What's the right choice? What's the right answer? And then you go overseas. Some countries have it at 13. Angola, 12, 13, 14. Who are you? To tell them no, like you gotta follow my my standard. Everybody has their everybody has their own standards. You can't enforce your own standards on everybody else because they don't live the same life as you. 
women in the U.S. are way different than women in fucking overseas. They're just the facts. You can't take your rules and laws and apply them to somebody else. And if they don't apply, and, and, and if they don't work by those rules, they're weird. Okay, they think you're weird. What's the difference? If you're in a place, abide by the rules and the laws of your place. That's it. It's not supposed to be doing none of that shit, bro. I can't even believe I'm even having this conversation with one of those ones. See, they look for big content creators like that. that could Anyways, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Um, he has some good points, some very bad points. He's obviously, like, hasn't done his research. He's just coming from, like, again, a spiritual place. But, you know, that's, that's anecdotal. That's, that's not facts. And that's just his personal experience. But yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys again. I'll see you guys again in the next video.